Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here with Chris Prelog, who is Vice President of Fleet Operations for Windstar Cruises. We're here aboard the Star Legend, and we're going to talk a lot about this ship, its major features, and indeed the features of a Windstar cruise. And this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Chris, one of the highlights uh, of this is the culinary, is your fine dining. Let's talk a little bit about what you offer on board today. Yes, uh, thanks, James. So we have an uh, you know, incredible focus on the food and beverage operation. And one of the key features we did uh, this year is implementing a James Beard Foundation menu cycle within the um, entire menu cycle mm. of all operations so as you will um, see in the menus there's highlights to the James Beard uh, dishes from our executive chefs mm. uh, prepared which have been trained by the various chefs who came on board through the James Beard Foundation to actually feature their entire menus and we had some uh, food and beverage collection cruises um, with James Beard over the year and th those recipes are replicated on in the entire fleet so you get to taste uh, different dishes every time you come back because we are renewing the menu cycle all along as we go. No, and you, I guess you have three uh, F&B uh, major restaurants on board. Uh, talk a little bit about those and what they each offer. Yeah, so we starting with the main restaurant called Amphora, which is our main dinner location. Mm -hmm. And that's where we really feature our 14 day menu cycle on these longer cruises or seven day menu cycle on the shorter cruises. And uh, that's where also the James Beard dishes are integrated. Then we also have the Veranda um, Cafe, which is our alternative uh, dining in the uh, Deck 7, which is a breakfast and a, a lunch buffet, has always um, food stations, mm -hmm. has uh, daily changing menus, and that transfers then into a Candles restaurant, a steakhouse concept. Yeah, I've, already booked, I've already booked a couple nights on that. <laughs> yeah. <this> cruise, right? <laughs> so that's really a, a very nice place to be. It's uh, outdoor dining, but you can also sit inside if you wish to do so, and it's a really nice steakhouse with, uh, with a lot of good food in, in the menu. Yeah, and then you have a small cafe uh, in in the uh, your observation lounge, the uh, the, 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 yacht. Yacht, the yacht club. Uh, so that's that's, and then you have your bar your bar service all around, right? Correct. I mean, the yacht club is really open all day until the late evening hours, and you can always go in there, have a coffee, get a drink, have a, a sandwich, or in the morning uh, we have croissants there, we have uh, muffins there, and uh, various uh, juices. So it's kind of the place I would call it as a living room. You you mm -hmm. snack a little bit, read a book have a coffee have a chat it's a uh, it's a really live place but uh, very enjoyable and let's talk a little bit about and I have I have to say I, I think the food is far superior I was on Windstar many many years ago yeah, and the food was it was a great cruise but the food uh, was probably a little more lacking and it's a, a, a vast difference what you have today thank you very much uh, that's all the team and uh, they're doing a great job with uh, execution now let's talk a little bit about the accommodations because you know you, you do have some fairly decent sized accommodations here right correct yeah we have about uh, 106 uh, suites and uh, all bathroom, all marble bathroom, walk-in closets, uh, large suites. These are some of the largest suites um, in the in the industry. They're of course all um, outdoor facing. They have large uh, windows or balconies, and so they are really a nice place to be. And you can uh, can really enjoy just being in your suite, like on the sea day where we are right now. So no, it's, and it's it beautiful. is, and we do have sea days, uh, several sea days on this thing, and I'm perfectly comfortable in my cabin. Uh, it's great to go outside too, but it's it's fine inside as well yeah and I mean the team does a great job making those up in the morning you have your turn down service you get uh, your personal um, cabin steward so y you have again this small ship feeling in your cabin because you meet uh, the same crew members and obviously your neighbors and and, and what have you so yeah. it's kind of really nice yeah now talk a little bit about the public rooms we're here in the card room screening room but there are a number of other public rooms uh, we talked a little bit about uh, uh, the lounges and the uh, uh, the yacht club but yeah. talk a bit, little bit about what those are available for for your guests so yeah I just mentioned a little bit the yacht club which is our kind of our living room uh, during the day but we also have uh, compass rose which which is in the aft section of the ship which has a, a, a large bar in there there's the casino in there it's uh, open uh, before and after dinner, it has a duo in the playing for uh, uh, light music and entertainment. You can order your favorite cocktail there, you can order your favorite uh, glass of wine and there's full bar service in there. Right next to it we have uh, the library and uh, the onboard shop, which we have obviously open on CDs like that. 
and uh, we also have the main lounge mm -hmm. where we feature lecture and enrichment programs and cooking demonstrations here uh, on the, for the larger audience for up to 200 guests. Yeah, well, I noticed I was in a lecture today and it was full. I mean, people come out for the lectures. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's all about enrichment, about getting closer to the destination, about uh, immersing yourself to, to new cultures and uh, that program on enrichment is working really well. And I, I, I was up on the upper decks and, and near the, the pool area. You have a, a, a sort of a, a, a hot tub and a uh, another kind of a, la a lap pool, uh, but there's plenty of space for lots of deck chairs, right? Correct. I mean, this is this is again the beauty of small ship cruising, having so much space for so few people. So you can choose whether you want to be in the middle of the bus, uh, around the star bar, which is our outdoor bar, or whether you want to hide away in a quiet corner on the couch and uh, just read a book and surf the internet. What what would you like? You know, yeah. it's it's really it, that's the beauty of small ship cruising. Yeah, there's absolutely. plenty of space. And and indeed, you mentioned the word internet, which was one of my th my worries. But so far, it's been so good. It's it's not too bad. It's really it's 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 fast enough. Yeah, it's good. I, I just checked myself this morning on many emails, so it works out well. Yeah. So. Now, the final thing I want to talk to you about is the tour program, because you have smaller groups and you're going to more exotic destinations. Talk a little bit about how you've developed that program. So, yeah, we have um, really focused in on our tour program. With smaller ships, we want to really bring our guests closer to destinations, to experiences, and uh, we have a program called our Concierge Tours, which is exactly focusing on that. So, these are tours where you go in a 50-seater bus. These are tours where you really come closer to uh, families, where you get uh, to enrich yourself on the culture of the area you're sailing in, and also tours, you know, 6, 10, 12 people, and those are tours, you know, you can't get on larger ships. This, this is what uh, this concierge program is focused on. No, well, it's gr it's a great, and we're going to experience some of the tours. We still got a ways to go. Although, I unfo unfortunately, I think you have to get off the yeah, ship. Yeah, and unfortunately, have to get off uh, the ship tomorrow. Mm. But one uh, an incredibly important feature of Windstar, and it's perhaps not really a public room, but is our marina. And uh, I think our marina is available on all six ships and uh, it's the world's best marina as far as I'm concerned. It's really a fun place to be. It is really about what the Windsor guests like about kayaking, snorkeling, um, water skiing. So there's there's a lot of activities and each ship has a dedicated uh, water sports platform. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we're the only cruise line which has everything uh, in on each ship Park for that. And all six, yes. Well, we'll hopefully take uh, avail ourselves of that later in the tour when we get to the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, we're looking forward to the rest of this cruise. Chris, it's been great to meet you. Sorry you have to leave so soon. Yeah. I know th this is home for you in a way because you yeah. started on this ship, right? I did start on this ship 20 years ago and exactly on the day today. So mm -hmm. it is my home. My second home is this ship. So the Star Legend is very close to my heart. Well, I'm sure you'll be back. I think. <laughs> well. Yeah. Thanks very much, Chris. It's been great to meet you and interview you about this. And and we're going to have more videos and more interviews to come from Windstar, Star Legend. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.